Troilus and Chryside. A brief summary. Troilus and Chryside is an epic poem about a tragic love affair between two prominent citizens of the Trojan state. The story is divided into five books. Chaucer is the narrator and the author. The main characters are Priam father of Troilus, Calchas father of Chryside, Pandarus uncle of Chryside, Diomedes the Greek soldier. The events are set in the ancient city of Troy, the capital of the Trojan Empire, in the war between the Trojans and the Greeks. Calchas, a Trojan prophet, foresees Troy's destruction. Keeping his knowledge a secret, he deserts Troy and joins the Greeks, leaving his daughter Chryside at Troy. Troilus, son of the Trojan king Priam sees Chryside. He likes her but he thinks that love is silly. This statement of Troilus angers god Cupid. Cupid makes Troilus to fall in love with Chryside. Chryside's uncle, Pandarus helps Troilus in making a relationship with Chryside and they both fall in love. Meanwhile Chryside's father Calchas feels guilty about leaving his daughter alone. Calchas tries to bring back his daughter Chryside back to him. Calchas sends Diomedes the Greek soldier to bring his daughter to Greece. Pandarus suggests the two lovers to elope, but Chryside tells that she will trick her father. Chryside promised to return and she goes towards her father in Greece. Chryside falls in love with Diomedes the Greek soldier sent by her father and she doesn't return back to Troy. Whereas Troilus dies in the war. As the tale ends, with Troilus' soul moving to the heaven, Troilus looks down on the earth and laughs, seeing all things. At the end of Troilus and Chryside, Chaucer advises spiritual love since human love is imperfect and shallow. Thank you for watching. See you again with another story.